Today, I'm gonna show you guys how to use Orca Slicer. This is gonna be a beginner's guide that walks you step by step through how to use Orca Slicer. I'm gonna move pretty quick because I value your time and we need to get you 3D printing. So after you have installed Orca Slicer, this is what it looks like essentially. And what we start by doing is we choose the right printer, right? So what we wanna do here is we wanna click on create printer and you're gonna to have to walk through and select your vendor of type of printer. Maybe you have a Creality, Ender 3, you have to choose your nozzle, all of that, make sure your bed size is correct because without this information, it's gonna be a huge deal and your prints aren't gonna line up, right? So once you have added your 3D printer, now we have to add the bed type. And I personally have a textured plate, so we're just gonna choose that. And then next, what we can do is install or, so next what we wanna do is we wanna import our STL file or whatever file your 3D print is on, essentially your model. So what we wanna do here is click on this plus sign right here, see it? That's how we're gonna add it. And what I'm gonna do is add this EV. It's an STL file and this is a Pokemon. And what you can do here is you can scroll forward on your mouse cursor to increase the size and you can click, left click and drag and spin it around to get a good view of what your 3D print model looks like. And usually the first things that we look at and customize are the size, right? So what we wanna do here is we wanna click on our file here. What I'll tend to do is move it where I want on the plate. And then what we can do here is choose this icon right here, which is the scaling size feature. You can increase the size here. You can choose if you wanna increase it by 150%. And if you check this, it'll all keep to uniform scale. Or you can choose this sizing on millimeters. If you want an exact like 80 millimeter size, then that will be those coordinates. And there's a bunch of other customization things you can do up here. Like I can add text to the, to the file. Like just to give you a quick, you could add uh, someone's name like Joe and then you could just like put that on the tail or something You know, you can add tons of crazy things and also say if you like screw something up You can click the back button up here in the left hand side say if I just want to remove that See I can I can click and drag this You're gonna just kind of get used to undoing things because you mess them up. So again if I just add text here Let's add this again click Joe and then you can kind of like move where you want it to be choose the location and etc I'm gonna not put text on here, but that's just an example. You can add text to any file. And then the next thing we would look at is supports. Well, actually let's go over to this left-hand side here. So what we wanna do is we wanna make sure everything is filed or filled in correctly, right? We have, our, we have our printer selected. We have the type of plate selected. Next, we wanna look at the PLA or the type of plastic that you're printing with. And again, you can scroll down on this menu and choose. I'm gonna use bamboo PLA, PLA, PLA silk. Sorry, I can't speak. And if you're trying to add a custom filament, just add the, click on this little gear icon and you can add custom filaments. And then essentially, once you have these three things filled out, what we, what we wanna worry about next is supports. So you're gonna learn a lot about supports with 3D printing. And this is the third tab over right here, see it? So if I click this, and what I tend to do is I look at the print, right? And if I notice that there's floating origins, like this spot right here where the tail is, or if you look at the ears, you know, any, anything floating, you're gonna need supports on because it can't print, the printer can't print in midair. So what we wanna do over here is click on support and then enable support right here and check it. And there's two major types of supports. We have normal and then we have tree support. And then we always wanna choose the auto. If you're new to this, if, you're, if you wanna do the manual feature, that's on you, I never mess with this. What we wanna do here, this is what normal supports look like. And to get, uh, to move to the next level of what our 3D print should look like to be going down the process of printing, these tabs move in sequence. So we go from left to right. So if we click on prepare, that's the tab we're in. If we click on this preview, uh, the software Orca Slicer is gonna get all of this ready and just show you what it's gonna look like. See down here in the bottom right hand side, it's generating everything. And see, it, it generated the supports that we were just talking about. And again, all these, all these special features tell you what's going on. We have gap infill, brim support, and it tells you how long it's gonna take, an hour and 28 minutes, which is not that long, right? Depending on what printer you have is gonna depend on the speed, obviously. So let's go back here. Let's go back on the prepare tab, and I'm gonna show you the other type of support. This is the tree type of support. And again, you can change the threshold angle. That's at what angle the supports get put up. So click on the preview tab and it's gonna start uh, generating this with the different types of supports. See how this is a little bit different? And you're kind of gonna have to just learn like what supports you prefer. Each print is different. I'd love to give you some advice, but honestly, it's kind of like you just look at the print 
and just try to figure out like are the supports gonna break away nicely because that's the whole goal of the supports because we're breaking those off after we after the print is done printing so now we just take a look at this and make sure everything is up to par sometimes you know if you're having if you're having issues with the print sticking to your bed sometimes people you know if we go back in this prepare tab what you could also do is add more brims like if i had skirt loops i can i can also add skirt height i can add brim type i can do inner brim only and if we click on the preview tab and again you're gonna have to mess with all this and research what these are and it's essentially just tricks to kind of get adhesion promotion on the plate if that makes sense and then if i go back to the prepare tab and i make the brim bigger like if i do this 10 and then click preview and again it's going to generate it all and this is what you tend to do you go back and forth and if i zoom in here this brims it's thicker you know, and this kind of helps the 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 print kind of stick to the plate. You're going to have issues with this the more and more you print. You may have adhe adhesion issues. That's kind of hard to say. But then now that we have kind of made it this far in the process of printing and you check the sizing and all the skirts and the brims and the supports, those are kind of the main things you need to watch for when 3D printing. All we have to do is kind of look at the screen realize how long it's gonna take, it's an hour and 31 minutes. Now all we have to do is click on print plate and it's as simple as that guys and it's gonna walk you through a step-by-step -step on like choosing your printer and refreshing it, make sure if you want it to record a time lapse, it's gonna do that. I don't have a printer in here yet because I haven't connected uh, a certain one that I want. But then once you've chosen your printer, all you have to do is click send and then it's gonna send it off to the printer. And that's essentially how to use Orca Slicer. This is a beginner's guide tutorial, step-by-step -step guide. It was really quick, but I feel like this is pretty quick thing. Like this is quick to kind of learn and you don't have to put a ton of time into this because as you learn it, and do more of it, you're gonna learn more and more each day. So hit me up in the comments, make sure to subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.